Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So if this is your first time clicking on my video, watching any videos from my channel, welcome. You're very welcome to this family. Um, remember to subscribe before you leave so you can see more videos when I upload them. Um, and if you're coming back to watch more videos, you know you're the real OG. So thank you very much for coming back to watch more and more videos. I appreciate you guys. Um, at the end of this video, guys, please remember to like this video if it was helpful to you and share it if you think you want people to hear what I have to say today because I think it's important. I think we found something, guys. <laughs> Anywho, so guys, today I wanted to talk about this hair. Well, not the hair in itself, but from the description and from the title of this video, I want to talk about how I was able to achieve this look. In case you haven't noticed guys <laughs> this hair even though it looks like this i don't have and let me come a bit closer so you can see this hair guys i do not have any leave outs i don't i don't have any leave out i don't have any closures and something i've been trying to find a solution to for my hair i feel like i finally found a solution that works and i'm really excited about that i feel like um, this is the first time I'm doing it um, and I know that it can even be done better and I feel like the more I do it then I'm probably gonna not need to wear closures anymore or you know do too much to make my hair look natural I created um, a fake leave out which is how I want to call it um, using my real scalp I created what seems to be a, a leave out and it's funny because because when I was making this hair I had a um, video called my sister um, to show them the parting when I was done with it and she was like oh do you still need to do, are you gonna do a leave out and I was like actually this is not my hair <laughs> it looks so real that they thought it was a leave they thought it was my hair when it wasn't um, and I was so happy with that you know I feel like everyone who has seen this hair has been like wait did you leave out your hair and I'm like no I didn't <laughs> Um, so yes, I'm really, really excited to share that with you guys. Um, I think the bottom line is this. Um, if you don't want to wear any um, any closures, which I wear a lot of closures or frontals, whatever. Um, if you don't want to do that, there are a couple of options, right? Number one is, is that you leave out your hair, which I don't want to do because I don't want to have to deal with my natural hair, blending it into um, a weave or whatnot. Number two option is they have like this um, invincible part method where I think they cut the the weft into small pieces and lay it horizontally um, that I feel like is, is a lot of waste man on the on the on the weaves and in addition to that I don't know I haven't really tried it to be honest myself but I just feel like it's, it's a little too much <laughs> for me um, and then the third option, I, I don't know if this was originated by um, Shion, but I know I watched it, I, she was one of the first people that I had seen try this style, is like the invincible knot crochet method, where you loop just one out of the two um, hairs. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm going to put in a clip of, you know, someone doing that style so you can see what I'm talking about. So that was going to be like my last resort if I, if I wasn't able to get um this style looking the way i wanted it to look which was natural um there are other ways that people have done i've seen people like cut up the wefts and try to glue the individual um to glue the individual strands of hair on the head which i thought was a little bit scary <laughs> because what happens when the glue gets weak and then it falls off anyways enough of the rambling but long story short there are a couple of things out there that i just felt aren't um, either easy or are, they aren't as seamless and I was trying to find something that works better so that brought me to this right and guys I like to call guys I like to consider what I did on my hair kind of like an upgraded crochet method because it follows the method of crochet just a little bit upgraded so it looks more natural and that's what I'm gonna um, talk about in this video guys so if you want to if you want to see how I achieve this look, um, a breakdown of the tutorial, keep on watching. I must, you know, excuse myself a little bit though, because when I took this video, it was not very, you know, it was in the middle of the night. There was a lot going on. So I'm going to try to piece everything together and explain what I did. I could shoot as another video um, explaining in detail and trying to make that video a lot cleaner and nicer. Um, before I upload it so 
guys let's let's get into this hair then let's get into this hair <laughs> to start off um for this um for this hair hairstyle i'm gonna be using um my yummy hair and i have posted a video previously um unboxing that hair when it came and just kind of talking about the hair if you want to know more about this hair uh, make sure you watch that video um, the other things you would need to achieve this style like i said is an upgraded crochet method so of course you're gonna need um, a crochet pin you're gonna need uh, a brush and you're gonna need a scissors um, also you are gonna need um, loose hair so one option is to use the exact weave on that you're trying to do a sewing for and cut off some cut off the weft so you can have loose hair I didn't want to cut off my yummy hair. I just didn't want to do that. So luckily I found, I had another hair, which I'm going to show you guys right now. I had this hair right here. And this hair, it's like an old curly hair. I thought it was going to blend in nicely and it does. I think the only problem is that um, this hair is, is not as good quality to be honest as my yummy hair and it gets very frizzy. So, so I've been struggling a little bit, you know, with the, with the leave out. Cause that's what it is basically <laughs> i've been struggling a little bit with the leave out to keep it from from being too freezy um, but if you use the same hair um as the weave one you're trying to use it should blend in better it should be a bit more seamless the first thing is getting the braid pattern together um i wanted a c part which is what i have here and i you know did the c part and what i needed to do was i um should i call them boundary um braids on the side of the parts here and here so i just braided it in to go in line with um the parting that i wanted um it's important that you make those braids very very thin as thin as possible because the, the thinner it looks the better the the leave out is going to look at the end of the day and then what happens is when you do thin braids like that because they are so thin it's possible that the pattern wants to get closed it was important to make sure that i kept them open so that you know because they're so small so they don't close together and you can't see the part so in order to keep them open i um attached the rest of the braids to um to the boundary braids and i'll show you how i did it i just literally passed the braiding hair through the boundary and then used that to braid it all back and once i did that you know i, I had to just braid the hair all back as usual i did like an ankle braid to the side and then braid it all back nothing fancy nothing fancy at all once you've had the cornrows done the next step now is to focus on leave out so the leave out really is the important thing and there are basically three steps to get this leave out looking just the way mine looks or maybe better right um this process takes about maybe 30 minutes if you um just concentrate and get it done but i think the the result is totally worth it the first thing is um you want to just you know take the take the hair that you have for the leave out and cut off cut off the weft so you have loose hair um and then take the loose hair and start crocheting just on the braids normal crochet no you don't have to do any invincible part method nothing just crochet as you normally would but just use very small pieces now in my case this hair is kind of fine so i had to like tie the knots like twice so i feel like that even didn't help because it might have made it a little more bulky than it, than it needed to be so if your hair is a bit more has a more coarser texture you probably just need to knot it once but i knotted it twice because i didn't want to take any chances so yeah i knotted it one and um, twice but i use very small very small pieces just pick it like this just take a small piece and just crochet all of, all the way to the parting, all the way to the parting. You're going to have it looking like a typical um, crocheted hair. Um, and then when you're done, when the hair is full, that is where the second step comes in. I went underneath the braids with the crochet needle and I took each one. So I have each strand like this and I hope you can see it. it's so tiny. But I have each strand like this and then they were all crocheted on the hair. Um, and I went underneath the braids and I picked out one strand and just pulled it through just to clarify guys I don't mean actual hair strands. I kept saying hair strands. I mean kind of like the clump of hair um, that you crochet um, Which is of course made of a couple of strands, but um, really thin clumps of hair And I think what this does is because it's so tiny 
So now you have all of these little strands of hair coming out from underneath from underneath of the hair and I don't know if you can see you have individual little little strands of hair like coming from underneath the braids and then those strands are the hair that actually covers um, all of the imperfection going on so including the knots and the braids that you have underneath but because you have so many little strands it looks seamless it looks like it's growing out from your scalp and that's where I think the magic happens last but not least step in this is after you have um, flipped all of the crochets to come from underneath the braids then you just need to use a blow dryer and redirect the hair so it falls in a proper direction where it needs to go i did that for this part of the hair i did that for this part of the hair flipped it this way and i was done again it should take you about 30 minutes in my case it took me a lot longer because i was trying to figure things out i was like okay does this work should i do this should i do that but ultimately the moment i came to the solution of oh just flip the crochet it just went very smoothly so again crochet the hair after crocheting the hair flip the crochet from underneath the braids but take very 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 tiny pieces the smaller the pieces you take but again when you're flipping it, it's a bit easy it's not like you're not like knotting anything you don't have to knot it you don't have to tie it so guys that's it the leave out was complete just by doing that and then I could focus on sewing in the rest of the hair. I haven't really ever done a sewing for myself ever before. So this was really a lot of trial and error. But I just, you know, sewed it as I thought was best. <laughs> if you're better at sewing in your hair, you probably do a better job than I did. But I sewed in my hair. It's not great, but you can see the, you know, you can see what it looks like under there. But, you know, I'm sure it can be better. But for now, it works. Um, I was really focused on the on the parting. And I think it worked out. It worked out seamlessly. Um... So guys, I think that's pretty much, I think that's pretty much it as far as like how I achieve this look. Again, I know my videos are not like, you know, the, the clips I showed might have not been like super clear. I hope they are because this is actually a very easy process. Um, but if you want, uh, you know, something more detailed with better lighting and whatnot, just let me know. Um, and I could just, I could, I could do it again. I want to try, I'm going to do this, I think more often. On straight hair this is curly hair so that's fine but I think it's gonna work seamlessly on straight hair as well because the idea is the same um, you don't need to you know you don't need to tease the roots or anything it just looks it just looks natural so guys I think uh, that's pretty much it that's the end of this video if you have any questions or comments uh, leave me um, a comment so I can I can address those and if you found this video useful or this video helpful, please like this video. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.